Hello, second grade boys and girls. We're back for another lesson. This one matches your packet as well. And in your packet, I would like for you to flip through until you find the lesson or the story, Wiggles and Axles by Ed Green. Now, we're gonna look at the pictures here in this diagram. And then I have a short, maybe two minute video on wheels and axles that's really interesting that we'll watch. And then I'll read the story and the questions to you. So let's take a look here. Do you know what this is called? You might have seen one at the fair or at Dollywood or somewhere. It's called a Ferris wheel. And it works on a wheel and axle. We'll learn more about that later. And here is a diagram. So that's a picture that helps us understand something in the story. So this diagram is going to show us a wheel and a wheel. So two wheels and an axle. And it also shows us some arrows for how these things move. So the wheel is going this way and the axle is going the same way. Maybe you know a little bit about wheels and axles. And even if you do or you don't, I think this video might help us learn a little bit more. So we're going to watch it. But it looks like we might have collected a few too many. This box is really heavy. Too heavy to carry. So I wonder if we can pull the box back to the fort. Squeaks? Want to give it a try? Rats! Oh, uh, sorry, Squeaks. I mean, oh man, that was a really good try, but we're going to have to think of something else. If you've spent some time with us recently, you probably know that we can use simple machines to help us do work. In the past, we've used levers, ramps, and pulleys to help us move big, heavy things, but none of those are quite the right machine for this problem. However, there's another simple machine that I think will do the trick. This simple machine is called a wheel and an axle. You already know what a wheel is, and an axle is the bar that goes into the middle of a wheel. In order for a wheel to work, it has to spin, and a wheel spins on an axle. I bet you can think of lots of things that use wheels and axles, like cars and trucks, bicycles, roller skates, roller blades, and our wagon. Of course, we can put the box in our wagon and then pull it back to the fort. Great idea as usual. Thanks, Squeaks. Our wagon has two axles and two wheels on each axle. So we'll just put the box inside the wagon. Okay, Squeaks, pull on the handle. And the box is on the move. We solved the problem. But how do wheels and axles help us to do work? It all comes down to how much force we need to move the box. We've talked about forces before. They're the pushes and pulls that things put on each other. In this case, the force we're concerned with is the one we use to pull on the box. When the box was on the ground, Squeaks tried to put a big force on the box to pull it. But even though he pulled really hard, he could only move it a little bit. But when the box was in the wagon, Squeaks was able to pull it all by himself easily. So it took less force to move the box. And that's what this simple machine does. A wheel and axle changes how much force we need to move something. Instead of a big push or pull, we can use a much smaller one. And smaller pushes and pulls means less work for us. Because it takes less force to move heavy things, wheels and axles make it easier to move something a long way. That's why they're part of so many things that help us stay on the go. And that's why you'll see wheels and axles on buses, scooters, wheelchairs, and even robot rats. But Squeaks is one robot rat that's earned a break. Hop in, Squeaks. I'll give you a ride back to the fort. Thanks for joining us. If you have questions about machines or forces or All right. So let's get back to our story now that we've learned a little bit more about wheels and axles. I'm going to read to you. You can follow along on the screen or in your packet. A simple machine has few or no moving parts. One kind of simple machine is a wheel and axle. A wheel and axle can help move people or objects from one place to another. Hmm. I'm thinking about the video and buses and cars were one example of the way a, way a wheel and axle can help move people. And then objects, hmm, the wagon, that helped move the rocks. Wheels and axles are all around you. Cars and bicycles have wheels and axles. A skateboard has them. Even a Ferris wheel is really just a big wheel and axle. 
This simple machine has a large wheel. It also has a rod called an axle. The axle goes through the center of the wheel. When the axle is turned, the wheel also turns. Here on the side, it says close reader habits. So that means these are habits or things that good readers do. And we wanna be good readers or close readers where we look very carefully at the text. So let's read what we need to do. How does a wheel and axle work? Put a box around the paragraph that tells us how it works. Circle labels on the diagram that show the two parts of this machine. Hmm, we have got three paragraphs. I see them here. They're even numbered for us. One, two, three. And one of those paragraphs, according to our habits, is going to tell us how the wheel and axle works. So let's see if we can find it. I know that this paragraph talks about a simple, simple machines and it introduces us to the wheel and axle and it tells us how it can help move people. And in this paragraph, we learn some more examples of, of some things that we know in everyday life that have wheels and axles like cars and bicycles and skateboards and even the Ferris wheel. And this paragraph, I think this might be the one. We learned that the axle can also be called a rod, but then right here we learn about how it works. The axle goes through the center of the wheel. When the axle is turned, the wheel also turns. So that's how it works. When one is turned, the other turns as well. Let's put a box around paragraph three. Now, if we look back, the other part that we're supposed to do is to circle labels on the diagram that tell the two parts of this machine. So you don't have to erase, but since I'm working on a screen, I'm going to erase my box. You can keep yours on your paragraph. I'm gonna go back up and work on the diagram. I'm supposed to find the labels. Well, this is the diagram here, and I know that labels are the words that tell me what the parts are. Wheel, that's a label. I'm gonna circle it. Wheel. And the other label is axle. So I'm gonna circle the three words. You circle them on your diagram as well. I'll do some erasing. You don't have to erase. You can keep yours circled. Let's go down to the next section and answer the questions about wheels and axles. After I reread the text, I'll look at the diagram. It will tell me more about what I've read. Boys and girls, if you want to reread the text on your own, now that you've heard it be read, be read to you one time, that would be a great thing to do. I'm going to read you the questions, and then I'm going to let you answer on your own. If you want to click on the next video, you can check your answers. Number one, which sentence from the passage does the diagram help to explain? So I am going to go back and look at the diagram because it's really smart to go back into your text. So there's the diagram. And which sentence does it help explain? Is it A, a wheel and axle can help move people or objects from one place to another? B, wheels and axles are all around you. C, cars and bicycles have wheels and axles. Or D, the axle goes through the center of the wheel. I'll let you mark your answer. In the next video, you can check and see if you're right. Number two, how does the diagram add to what the author tells us? A, it shows that the machine can have two or more axles. B, it shows that the axle must be long and heavy. C, it shows that wheels and axles turn in the same direction. Or D, it shows that many things around us have wheels and axles. Tune into the next video to check your answer. Talk. The article says that wheels and axles can help move people or objects from place to place. What does this mean? 
Oh, find a friend or someone at home and have that discussion. What does it mean that wheels and axles can help move people or objects from place to place? You can look at the article it says as a hint for examples of things that use wheels and axles. And we have a short response. You're supposed to write your answer on your next page in your packet. Let's go back and read the question. How does this article help you understand how wheels and axles work? Use one detail from the diagram and one detail from the text to support your answer. Write your answer in the space on page 303. Let's check. I think this is the same question. Yeah, so you can answer the question here. How does the article help you understand how wheels and axles work? Use one detail from the diagram and one detail from the text to support your answer. Okay. Well, in the next article or in the next video, I'll have an example of my short response. So go ahead and make sure that you write a couple of sentences and you can check your short response against mine in the next video. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you again next time.